You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our reading for today is lifted from the Gospel account of St. Matthew, chapter 13, verses 47 to 53. Jesus said to the disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they hold it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad they throw away. Thus, it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, they went away from there. I am greeting you all with peace and joy. Today we have another parable to describe how the kingdom of heaven resembles a dragnet. Jesus said, again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that somebody throws into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it ashore, sat down, and put the good into baskets, but threw out the bad. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So it will be at the end of the age. Here, the end of the age refers to the end time and the last judgment, which holds an air of mystery and dread. No one can tell when the day of reckoning will be. All we know is it will surely come. And whether we are ready for it, it will surely come which is alarming. What if on that day, the Lord finds us unworthy and pulls us out of the dragnet, and the angels will collect us and throw us into the furnace of fire? God forbid that this will happen to us. So today's parable urges us always to be ready to face God's judgment. As we embark on our spiritual journey towards the final judgment, we are guided by the Catholic educator from the Abbey. He underscores the pivotal role of the sacraments in this journey, with the sacrament of baptism taking precedence. As baptized Christians, we are not only called to live out our baptismal promises, but also to resist all that draws us away from the love of God. The Holy Eucharist, in particular, serves as our source of grace, nourishing us spiritually and preparing us for the final judgment. He says that to ensure that we stay in the state of grace, we must go to confession often, especially if we are aware that we have committed a mortal sin. Another crucial aspect of our spiritual preparation is daily prayer. It is through prayer that we maintain an intimate relationship with God, making Him a part of all we do. We are encouraged to talk to Him often, not just in times of need, but also in times of joy and sorrow. 
This constant communication with God is a cornerstone of our spiritual journey towards the final judgment. On top of this, God will judge us according to how we lived the two great commandments, love God above all things and love our neighbor as ourselves. Loving our neighbors, as St. Paul defines it, love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous, is not pompous, it is not verbose, it is not rude, it does not seek its interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes, hopes, and endures all things. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.